Here's Brody Brazil. You know, first things first, I just want to say how bad I've been feeling lately for fans of the Tampa Bay Rays. It's amazing that they still don't know, even right now, whether they've already seen their favorite baseball team play its final home game at Tropicana Field or not. What we do know is that Hurricane Milton recently made its way through the state of Florida, caused a tremendous amount of damage, including basically completely destroying the entire roof at this Major League Baseball venue. It was made of a Teflon-coated fabric, and that night, you're wondering, I mean, the images look bad, but maybe it looks worse than it actually was. Maybe it's like a tent. You could patch and replace and repair the fabric, and you're right back in business. Maybe this wouldn't be too bad of a fix. That was until the sun came out the next morning, and there were two instant concerns. Number one, the actual structural integrity of the roof itself, like the metal and steel that held up that Teflon fabric, Maybe that was compromised in some way, shape, or form, but also the internal water damage done to this building. You understand it's an indoor facility. There's no drainage system inside. It was never meant to be exposed to the elements like the infrastructure and the electronics. They weren't designed for that. And so the Rays had a statement saying it would take weeks and months to actually figure out a couple things. How much this fix would cost, how long that fix would take, Who would actually pay for this? Would the Rays want to or have to play somewhere else in the meantime? I mean, so many questions that we still don't basically have any of the answers to. But now there's a new question popping up, and it relates to the structural integrity of the roof itself, even before this storm took place. I mean, maybe this was all kind of like a a ticking time bomb in the first place. Here's some reporting from The Athletic, which says, The roof had never been replaced in the more than 34 years since it was installed, despite being, quote, well past its intended service life, according to David Campbell, a principal at Geiger Engineers, the group that actually installed the roof for the stadium's opening back in 1990. He said the Teflon fabric's service life is approximately 25 years. Quote, they plan to be in a new building in the not-too-distant future, and they were hoping, I think, to make it. Campbell said, make it in terms of get to that new stadium without ever having to replace or pay for the old roof, which is, well, was now 34 and would have been about 37, 38 by the time a new stadium would be ready. But he added, quote, the fabric is very, very old now. Well, more like was very old now. And that brings me to showing you some photos I found on X. Paul Driscoll is a fan of the Rays. He's a season ticket holder. Paul has allowed me to share these photos with you here for the same reason that he posted them. He had some questions. He was looking at the roof this year at the Trop and wondering, is something going on here? And I'll kind of point out to your attention right away. Like, is that is that daylight that I can see? Like, is there already a hole? This is uh, March 28th. So this is early in the season. It looks like it's the Rays and Jays, if I'm seeing the scoreboard correctly. There's also like a lot of weird little areas where you can see daylight or sunlight through the roof. Those look more by design. And again, this is not a stadium I've been to, so I I don't properly understand what all that is about over there. But I do see this as as looking and feeling and seeming a, a bit abnormal. All the other seams here... Like there's no there's no daylight, but right there, I mean, it's it looks like it's sagging. It it definitely looks like it's compromised. We'll zoom in on that photo a little bit later, which is interesting because now we're midsummer, we're July 27th, and there is clearly some repair work going on to the roof right there. There's also what appears to be even more of a compromised area right here. So the the repair is being done here, but what's going on with all this? Again, we'll zoom in on that in just a second. And now this is August 31st. The repair work seems to be done or that's no longer around. We can still see again what feels like a kind of a gap in the roof over there. I'm just, I'm not sure what all of that is, but Paul has been going there for a long time and he didn't take these photos intentionally because he was suspecting anything. He was just revisiting them and they, they just looked a little bit odd. So we'll zoom in here. And again, I don't know how they dealt with this stadium if there ever was rain, because if that is if that is exposed to the outside, anytime it rained, there would have been there would have been a significant amount of water getting through there. And again, these are the other kind of little slats 
and sunlight holes in the roof that I saw. Those, I, I guess, feel more normal, look more normal. I don't know what the outside of the design is. Maybe you can just see through there. Maybe light gets through there, but water can't. But that this one right here um, just looks and feels a little suspect. And what I'm pointing out here is just to ask the question, right? Uh, maybe this was normal repair work. Maybe they, they do this all the time. You tell me. If you're a Rays fan and you go to the Trop or went to the Trop a bunch, was this normal to see kind of like a patch job uh, like that happening on a regular basis? All I'm saying is that with a roof like this and a storm like that, maybe it only took one small place for air to get through, for air and pressure to get under here and start the complete destruction of the roof. Like maybe it was not only past its service life, but maybe there was some issues and damage with it that that just complicated the matter. I mean, what does it matter at this point? Uh, the stadium has a lot of money it's going to need to get fixed and a lot of things to be figured out here. It looks even though in August, though, it doesn't look completely fixed. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on right there. But the patch job was gone. I mean, the patch job was gone, but I can... I can still see through the roof right there at the end of August. So again, to revisit all this, the roof of Tropicana Field was the original from 1990. They said when it was put up, it was built to withstand winds of 115 miles an hour, which is pretty close to what Hurricane Milton delivered. They said it was about 110 when it made landfall. So look, we'll just call it close and say it was right on the threshold of exceeding what it was built to withstand. That roof has or had 180 miles of cable. It was the world's largest cable-supported domed roof. And you saw all the cots in there. Let's remember that that night, this entire facility was set up to shelter first responders that would be dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Milton. So there's still some huge questions here that we don't have the answer to. Despite whether the roof was already damaged and was just kind of waiting for this to happen, number one, have the Rays played their final home game there ever. It certainly feels possible. Most people on social media, if asked in a voting situation, tend to believe the answer is yes. Just because of how much this would cost, how few of years the Rays would even want to use this stadium. If it's if it really is a $220 million job to fix everything up, and the stadium's only good for three or four more years, that's not a very cost-effective fix. What's the actual damage? What's the actual cost? Who's going to pay for it? We understand that insurance is on the hook first, but reporting from Bloomberg says the Rays are supposed to, in their contract, take care of anything else that insurance doesn't cover. Wow. And how long does insurance take to, to do a claim on that? Think about that for a second. What venue could also properly host Major League Baseball for months or years? Like, What options do the Rays even really have in this situation? There's no good one. There's no turnkey, makes sense, oh, that's an easy thing to do. Nothing is easy here. The roof, the timing, the money, the temporary stadium spot. There are no real good, easy answers here for the Tampa Rays. And again, that's why I feel so bad for their fan base right now. They should not have to be going through this, having to answer these questions. And it brings a lot of volatility to a franchise that just was about to turn a corner. I mean, not so much on the field. They traded away a lot of their players this year. But in terms of getting a new home and having that new project at the gas plant district right next to Tropicana Field, so many things were right on the cusp. And now, so many questions instead. You made it here to the end of this video. You know I really appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. That greatly helps me and this video and this channel. And also before it ends, go down there real quick. Make sure you're already subscribed. That way I can definitely see you back here next time.